Honey pot, do you truly believe you can outrun me? I may not be as athletic as my brothers, but I can easily catch up with you. Run all you like, it won't get you anywhere. It's pointless to try to escape. I already know where you are. Come back like a good partner, and I promise to not be mad. We both know you can survive out here on your own. If that's the game you want to play, so be it. Found you. For as cute as your squirming is, I preferred you'd stop. I caught you, and you're not escaping. It's as simple as that. The facts don't lie. Do, do you truly intend to fight the entire way back? Fine. Tie yourself out. I suppose it's a more delightful sight in comparison to the sluggish behavior er, you've, you've displayed recently. Hmm? <laughs> Playful chuckle. Well, it's not preferred for you to be fighting against me. It's nice to see the light return to your eyes. After you stopped resisting, you became so dull that you almost come across as dead. Naturally, I couldn't allow this to happen. I didn't seclude you to my love for you to be a puppet without with its strings cut off. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. I purposely left the door unlocked so you can run out. Oh, you're so smart, honeypot. How did I know you would take the chance to leave? Well, that's simple, honey pot. I know you better than you know yourself. I always do in extensive research on my interests, and you're my largest interest. Of course I go to the efforts to learn everything about you. Every little detail, every habit, every component that makes you well, you. That's the fire I love to see in your eyes. When you fight back, well, annoying, is a sign the honeypot I love hasn't turned lifeless just yet. There's still the chance to return you to the wonderful honeypot I know and love. Oh, trust me. I'll know if you try to fake being lifeless. Besides, like I said, I know everything about you. I'm confident that even if you went past the point of no return, I'll still be able to bring you back. You are my lover, not my pet. As such, I will ensure you're more than an empty husk. Keeping you in the lab does not prove I'm treating you like a pet. It simply means I'm keeping you safe. I mean, no offense with this, but you are truly weak and are simply incapable of taking care of yourself. With me, you're guaranteed to be safe and healthy. I'm sure with time you'll come to realize this and appreciate all I do for you. <laughs> That's what I love to hear. Hearing that determination your voice is such a refreshing sound compared to your lifeless voice that I've been forced to hear recently. Of course, I'd prefer it if it wasn't about escaping my loving embrace, but we can work out the finer details later. Perhaps I miscalculated how much one escape opportunity would motivate you. I thought for sure I had to do at least three for you to return to this state. Oh, are you surprised? Have I not made it clear that I'd do anything to return you to your vibrant self? 
if we're if providing you opportunities to escape do the job, so be it. Not like you would actually be able to escape. He'll never be able to escape me. But wasn't I convincing and making you think you had the chance? I've been working on my acting just for you. <laughs> What's with that look? If you keep that up, I might just think I might even believe you hate me. Oh, you do hate me? Well, that hurts. If there's something I can do to make your feelings change, I'm all up for suggestions. More opportunities to escape. Do you truly think you'll be able to escape? Do you truly believe that? Whether I give you one or one million attempts, you'll never get away, but... Very well. You have 30 seconds. You better take advantage of your head start. <laughs> As if they'll ever escape, but I'll play their game. They think they're manipulating me, but in actuality it's the other way. Think they're gonna get more chances to escape? All they're doing is bringing back their passion and personality to themselves. <laughs> A truly wonderful sight to see. I'll simply have to work on changing their disposition towards me with time, bit by bit. <laughs> believe that's the end of their head start. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come!